Welcome everyone to this latest episode of Jim and Java. I'm Jim Dempsey, your host. Well, welcome everyone. It's good to have you back again this week. I'm excited to be able to bring you fundraising tips and answering your fundraising questions. Always remember that we're here for you. If you need to reach out to me, please do so at developmenteffectivenessm at gmail.com. Please reach out with questions that you might have on Twitter at DevFStrats and use the hashtag Jim and Java. You can also view me and watch me on Instagram at Dev Effectiveness Strategies. And also remember, please subscribe to this channel. We've got some good questions for you today, so let's dive right in. Our first question today is from Matt in Atlanta, Georgia. And Matt asks, do you always ask on an appointment or do you wait to let the relationship develop? Well, Matt, that's a great question and I sure appreciate you asking. When I first got into development 37 years ago, it was always appropriate to dive right in and ask someone to give to your organization or give to you individually whenever the opportunity presented itself. But over the years, we have really shifted quite a bit to focusing in on the relationship and not that in the past relationships weren't important they've always been important but the thing that we're really focusing now on more is what i've mentioned in the past of shifting from transactional relationships to transformational relationships where again a transactional relationship is much like an atm you never think about an atm till you need money and then an atm is very important till you get the money and then it's not important again until you need the money and if that sounds familiar that's exactly the way we treat a lot of our ministry partners and the way that we treat a lot of our donors if that sounds familiar that is the way that we treat a lot of our donors and so we really need to be careful not to treat a person as a dollar or a transaction or that it's all about the money, that it really needs to be about relationships. And we've emphasized that more and more over the years, the importance of relationships. The generation prior to baby boomers, the greatest generation, it was really important for them to give to a cause and give to something that made a difference. And they didn't care that much about having ownership with an organization. It didn't matter that much to them whether they had a say in the organization and the decision that the organization was making with regard to how that money was used. But as baby boomers came in and then, of course, Generation X and Millennials and Zs, all have wanted a greater and and larger share of the say in how money is spent, how money is used, and the impact that's made. And so relationships have become an important part of the total giving process. Now, I want to just add just a little bit of disclaimer to that. Even though relationships are extremely important and building a relationship over time, even earning the right to ask is very important. There are times and there are situations where you need to ask on an appointment the first time because you may feel that the relationship may not you have to ask on the first appointment because the opportunity might not present itself again for some time. I just was talking to a colleague the other day and he mentioned to me that he had tried to set up an appointment with a prospective donor eight times and eight of those appointments were canceled. Not because the donor, prospective donor, wanted to cancel it intentionally, but he canceled it just because things didn't work with last minute decisions with his schedule. But on the ninth appointment, they actually got together. And my colleague really used his best judgment. And he's been doing this for a while. He decided at the end of the appointment to ask for a gift at that time because he didn't know after nine cancellations whether he would get another appointment anytime soon. Now, I will add a caveat to the caveat on this one is that in, in an hour and a half appointment that he had, he spent over an hour 
just listening to this individual share his life story, share all the things that he's been through, all the things that he's dealt with in his life. He found out what kind of organizations that he likes, what kind that make him weep and pound the table. So my colleague got a lot of information on that first appointment from the individual, really to the point where he felt that it was the wise decision to make an ask at that time. So sometimes you just need to use your best judgment on when to ask. We're just we felt as a as a whole, it's always going to be best to, in a sense, court the re- the relationship, have a courting time, where you don't just dive in in the very first couple meetings and ask for money. But there's a point number one where you do need to just draw the line and finally ask once you feel like the prospective partner is there and they've they've they're at the point where you two are on the same page and you can ask Uh, but there's times when it will take less time to earn that right to ask it will take more time and there's times it'll take longer time and um, there are times that it will take less time to earn the right and then there'll be times will take longer time to earn that and my colleague is an example really used his best judgment and felt like it was most appropriate to ask on that appointment. So Matt, to answer your question, I would have to say to a degree it really depends on your situation and the relationship that you've begun to develop with the person. If you if you feel like you have the time to go deeper and wait before you make the first ask, then do it. If you feel like you won't have the, the appropriate time and maybe won't get a second opportunity that you've been working for so long just to get one meeting with this person, uh, don't pass up on that opportunity. Now, when I say that it's important to develop the relationship, don't do that just because you are afraid to ask or that asking is very difficult for you. Because early on in my career, I learned that I've, I've caught myself making excuses for why I wasn't asking people for money. And when I learned how to ask and saw that it was, I was providing an opportunity for that person to be part of something exciting and something worthwhile, that's when my whole perspective changed and I was able to ask and ask at the appropriate time. So Matt, I hope that answered your question. Uh, That ends our broadcast for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Once again, if you've got questions, reach out to me at DevFStrats on Twitter and use the hashtag Jim and Java. If you've got specific questions that you want to answer me that might be a greater length, you can go out to developmenteffectivenessm at gmail.com. Watch me on Instagram at Dev Effectiveness Strategies, and please subscribe to this channel. I think you will really enjoy being part of this group that is striving to increase income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thanks a lot. See you next week.